BBC News with David Harper. A grand jury in the US state of Mississippi has chosen not to indict a white woman whose accusations of assault against a 14-year-old black boy led to his brutal murder nearly 70 years ago. The lynching of the teenager Emmett Till galvanised the civil rights movement in the United States in the 1950s. The jury decided there was insufficient evidence to formally charge Carolyn Bryant Donham with kidnapping or manslaughter. In a trial following the lynching, Mrs Donham's husband and brother-in-law were acquitted of murder by an all-white jury. A day after Donald Trump denounced the unprecedented search of his Florida home by FBI agents, the former US president has released a campaign-style video that analysts say is the strongest hint yet that he intends to run for president in 2024. Several leading Republicans have joined in his accusations that he was the victim of a Democrat-led witch hunt. Russia has played down a series of explosions at a military airfield on the Crimean Peninsula, which it annexed from Ukraine in 2014. The Russian Defence Ministry said munitions had exploded in a store and denied the airfield had come under attack. The military-led government in Guinea has issued a decree dissolving the country's leading opposition movement, which it accuses of using violence during what it calls banned demonstrations. The National Front for the Defence of the Constitution, or FNDC, had called for countrywide demonstrations next week. The World Health Organization has stressed that the monkeypox outbreak that's prompted it to declare a global health emergency is not linked to monkeys. This follows reports of increasing attacks on the primates in Brazil. The WHO said the recent explosion in cases is connected with close contact transmission between humans. In what's thought to be one of the largest ever dog rescue efforts in the US, homes are being sought for 4,000 beagles that have been bred for drug experiments. Animal rescue organisations are removing the dogs from a Virginia facility that's being closed down for animal welfare violations. BBC News.